Hi, I'm Dan, software developer for RS2 and RS3. And today, we're talking about modeling walls and supported excavations in RS2 and RS3. A big part of modeling walls in supported excavations is capturing the soil structure interaction, which can be easily done in RS2 using structural interfaces, or in RS3 by defining a lining composition. Now, structural interfaces are simply a structural component sandwiched between two soil structure interfaces. And we can achieve the same thing in RS3, which are using by defining a lining composition, which is just a more generalized tool to define any combination of liners and interfaces. These features can be used for modeling reinforced concrete walls, soldier piles and lagging walls, sheet pile walls, or any other case where you need to model the soil structure interaction. In this activation, we use structural interfaces to model this wall. Let's expand the structural interface display just to see the layering a little bit better. So now when I open the structural interface properties, we see a soil to sheet pile wall interface followed by a liner and then another interface. When we compute the deformations around the excavation, we can see that using structural interfaces allows you to model the different deformations on each side of the wall. In R3, we can do the same thing, but we need to define a lining composition. Again, we have an interface, a liner, and then another interface. But of course, in 3D, we can define much more complex models. This concludes modeling walls in RS2 and RS3 for supported excavations. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below.